OK, so now you've created in your score all of the notes that you need. And we're going to just do some cleaning up, and we're going to add some details. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some dynamics. And dynamics basically tell us how loud or soft a piece of music is. And at the beginning, we're going to put a mezzo forte, which means medium loud. So what we do, we go into text under the text here. We're going to click on the expression button. And you'll notice now we have a blue arrow again. Click right here, because this is where you want your dynamic. And you'll see we have this cursor. If you right click on this, it will give you a menu of all the things that you can stick in here. So let's put MF for mezzo forte. And there it is, right there. Let's go over to bar five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put another one in. And you'll notice there that Sibelius automatically moved it so it wasn't overlapping with these notes here. Let's go to bar five, same thing. Select expression, click where you want it, double click. Mezzo piano means medium soft. Let's go to bar nine, seven. This here is the bar number, seven, eight, nine. Expression, click a Rooney. Right click, we're gonna go back to mezzo forte. And I think that's probably good for dynamics for now. Press escape to get out of this mode. And you'll see that it's kind of red here. It's because it's overlapping. I believe if we select it, we can use the arrow keys at the bottom of your keyboard to move it, and it will automatically find a safe place for it. You can select outside of, or just uh, press escape to deselect that. Okay, now, you'll notice that we have a whole bunch of empty bars here because Sibelius doesn't know how long your song is, so it just gives you a whole bunch. Now, let's get rid of all of the extra ones. So let's go to the very last one, select the bar, and then scroll to this bar here because this is where we want to get rid of our bars. Hold down your Shift key and select here. It will now select all of those bars. And then if we go back to the Home tab here, you will see under Bars. This is where you can add bars or you can delete bars. Here we're going to Delete. It says, do you want to delete these bars from the score? You say, yes. And now we've gotten rid of all the excess. Now, at the end of every song, we always want to put a double bar line bar lines. Where are the bar lines? Here we are. Bar lines are right here. So we select the bar line button. We ask or we choose which kind of bar line we want. We want a final bar line. So we click on this. Now our cursor is blue and I'm going to select right here. And now you can see we have a double bar line. Click outside and now it's deselected that, and that is in there. Now the last thing that we need to do, you'll notice that this text is in gray because this is what we saved the piece as. If we click on this button here at the top, File, this brings us in to kind of our, I guess it's the information page. And this is where all of the information such as copyright, composer, arranger, publisher. Um, this is where you can enter all of this in. So if this is an original composition, you put your information in here. And then it gives you kind of a synopsis of your piece. So here's what it's called. Here's when it was made. Here's how many pages, uh, et cetera, number of bars. So although it's called Minuet in G major, this won't show up when you go to print it. Anything that's in this uh, light gray color won't show up. So if we go to text and we click 
on this area uh, and we right click somewhere let's actually unselect that let's right click we go down to text and we're going to put in title right here see our cursor is blue and now we're going to go and add in hopefully you'll spell it correctly minuet in G major unselect and there it is so now if you want to print this you would go up to the very top menu you would select oh isn't that funny how do we print this all oh, right it's back here in this file section here so now we're going to go to print and you'll see this is the title that we just typed in okay the other thing won't show up and you know this is all pretty standard so you want to print the full score here's the printer that it selects um, all the printing preferences and so you would go through and you would print this or you can share it you can send it as an email to your instructor that's me you can save it as a PDF file right so you send this also as a PDF so if I don't have Sibelius then I can open it up as a PDF or you can export it and there's all different ways that you can export it you can export it just as a PDF so just the score if you want to export the audio to give to musicians to hear it you can do that and there's other options here that you can explore on your own later so maybe let's actually go through let's export this as a PDF um, what these things all mean here score and parts if this would have been a piece for multiple instruments then you could um, send just the score with all the instruments or you could send the score and then all the individual parts to give to your flautist to give to your you know electric bass player or your drummer or whatever uh, happens to be your arrangement but we're just going to export the score only we're going to save it on the desktop so we don't lose it and then we click oh let's give it a file name let's call it my awesome minuet in G score and export now you will notice here is my awesome score and there's my dog summer hello summer and here it is you have created your first score in Sibelius congratulations now get your assignments in on time